Hi there, I'm Grace, and welcome to Kitten's Corner. Here we'll talk everything cats, for cat lovers, just like yourselves. Today we're going to be taking a look at the top 12 most popular cats in the United States. We'll be going into all kinds of fun information about these cats, including their history, nature, and attributes. We also have a fun trivia for each breed. So, sit back and relax while we count down the top 12 most popular cats out there today. If you haven't already, please be sure to paw that subscribe button, and don't forget to like and ring that bell to be notified of future videos. Now, let's get started with our countdown. The Siamese Cat The Siamese is among the foundation stock of several other breeds developed by crossbreeding with other cats. Some examples are the Oriental Shorthair and Colorpoint Shorthair, developed to expand the range of coat patterns, the long-haired variant most often dubbed the Himalayan, and hair mutation breeds, including the Cornish Rex, SPHYNX, Peterbald, and Bluepoint Siamese Cat. The Siamese Cat comes in two distinct variations, traditional, with an apple-shaped head, and a slightly chubby body, or the modern Siamese, which are very skinny, and have a wedge-shaped head. The long-haired Siamese is recognized internationally as a Balinese cat. Siamese cats are one of the more common breeds to have different colored irises. Before we continue, how about a quick trivia? Which Pokemon is modeled after a Siamese cat? A. Meowth B. Pikachu C. Squirtle What do you think? Leave your answer in the comments below. Hang in there, and we'll get to the answer to this trivia question at the end of the video. So, let's take a further look into the Siamese cat. Appearance The breed standard of the modern Siamese calls for an elongated, tubular, and muscular body, and a triangular head, forming a perfect triangle from the tip of the nose to each tip of the ear. The eyes are almond-shaped and light blue, while the ears are large, wide-based, and positioned more towards the side of the head. The breed has a long neck, a slender tail, and fur that is short, glossy, fine, and adheres to the body with no undercoat. Its pointed color scheme and blue eyes distinguish it from the closely related oriental shorthair. The modern Siamese shares the pointed color pattern with the Thai or traditional Siamese, but they differ in head and body type. A pointed pattern is a form of partial albinism resulting from a mutation in tyrosinase, an enzyme involved in melanin production. The mutated tyrosinase enzyme is heat-sensitive, it fails to work at normal body temperatures, but becomes active in cooler areas of the skin. This results in dark coloration in the coolest parts of the cat's body, including the extremities and the face, which is cooled by air passage through the sinuses. Although pure cream or white at birth, all Siamese kittens develop visible points in the first few months of life in colder parts of their body. By the time a kitten is four weeks old, the points should be sufficiently distinguishable to recognize their color. Siamese cats tend to darken with age, and generally, adult Siamese living in warm climates have lighter coats than those in cool climates. Originally the vast majority of Siamese had seal points, but occasionally Siamese was born with blue points, genetically a dilution of seal point, chocolate points, a genetic variation of seal point, or lilac points, genetically diluted chocolate. These colors were considered inferior seal points and were not qualified for showing or breeding. These shades were eventually accepted by the breed associations and became more common through breeding programs specifically aimed at producing these colors. Later, outcrosses with other breeds developed Siamese mixed cats with points in other cat colors and patterns, including red and cream point, lynx, tabby, point, and tortoise shell point. In the United Kingdom, all pointed Siamese-style cats are considered part of the Siamese breed. In the United States, a major cat registry, the Cat Fanciers Association, considers only the four original fur colors as Siamese, Seal Point, Blue Point, Chocolate Point, and Lilac Point. Oriental Shorthair cats with color points in colors or patterns aside from these four are considered color point shorthairs in that registry. The World Cat Federation has also adopted this classification, treating the color point shorthair as a distinct breed. 
Many Siamese cats from Thailand had a kink in their tails, but this trait has been considered a flaw over the years. Breeders have largely eradicated it, but the kinked tail persists among street cats in Thailand. Temperament Siamese is usually very affectionate and intelligent cats, renowned for their social nature. Many enjoy being with people and are sometimes described as extroverts. Often they bond strongly to a single person dot that has been compared to the cries of a human baby and persistent in demanding attention. These cats are typically active and playful, even as adults, and are often described as more dog-like in behavior than other cats. Some Siamese is extremely vocal, with a loud, low-pitched voice, known as a miser, from which they get one of their nicknames. Due to their desire to be near people or other cats, Siamese cats occasionally suffer from depression or separation anxiety if left alone for long periods, and it is for this reason that Siamese cats are often bought in pairs so that they can keep each other company. Siamese Cats in Pop Culture Siamese cats have been protagonists in literature and film for adults and children since the 1930s. Claire Turley Newberry's Babette features a Siamese kitten escaping from a New York apartment in 1937. British publisher Michael Joseph recorded his relationship with his Siamese cat and Charles, the story of a friendship. The Siamese cat song sequence in Disney's Lady and the Tramp, featuring C and AM, became notorious for its racist depiction of the Siamese cats. The 1958 film adaptation of Bell, Book, and Candle features Kim Novak's own Siamese cat as Paiuakat, a witch's familiar. The Incredible Journey by Sheila Burnford tells the story of three pets, including Siamese cat Tao, as they travel 300 miles through the Canadian wilderness searching for their beloved masters. The book was a modest success when first published, but became widely known after 1963, when it was loosely adapted into a film of the same name from Walt Disney. Disney also employed the same Siamese in the role of DC for its 1965 crime caper That Darn Cat. With the New York Times commenting, the feline that plays the informant, as the FBI puts it, is superb. This elegant, blue-eyed creature is a paragon of suavity and grace. Before we wrap up, let's get back to our trivia question. Which Pokémon is modeled after a Siamese cat? If you haven't guessed it yet, the answer is, A, Meowth is modeled after a Siamese cat, and is one of very few Pokémon that can talk. The Persian Cat The Persian Cat is a long-haired breed of cat characterized by its round face and short muzzle. It is also known as the Persian Longhair in English-speaking countries. The first documented ancestors of the Persians were imported into Italy from Persia around 1620. Recognized by the cat fancy since the late 19th century, it was developed first by the English and then mainly by American breeders after the Second World War. Some cat fancier organizations breed standards subsume the Himalayan and exotic shorthair as variants of this breed, while others treat them as separate breeds. Before we continue, how about a quick trivia? How much do purebred Persian cats cost? A. $900 to $3,000 B. $100 to $300 C. $20 What do you think? Leave your answer in the comments below. Hang in there, and we'll get to the answer to this trivia question at the end of the video. So, let's take a further look into the Persian. The selective breeding carried out by breeders has allowed the development of a wide variety of coat colors and led to the creation of increasingly flat-faced Persians. Favored by fanciers, this head structure can bring with it a number of health problems. As is the case with the Siamese breed, some breeders have made efforts to preserve the older type of cat, the traditional breed, having a more pronounced muzzle, which is more popular with the general public. Hereditary polycystic kidney disease is prevalent in the breed, affecting almost half the population in some countries. In 2021, it was ranked as the fourth most popular cat breed in the world, according to the Cat Fanciers Association. The second was the exotic breed. Origin the first documented ancestors of the Persians were imported from Khorasan, Persia, into Italy in 1620 by Pietro della Valle, and from Angora, Ottoman Empire, into France by Nicolas-Claude Fabri de Peresque at around the same time. 
The Karasin cats were grey-coated, while those from Angora were white. From France, they soon reached Britain. Recent genetic research indicates that present-day Persians are related not to cats from the Near East, but to cats from Western Europe. The researchers stated, even though the early Persian cat may have in fact originated from Persia, the modern Persian cat has lost its phylogeographical signature. Development Persians and Angoras The first Persian cat was presented at the first organized cat show in 1871 in the Crystal Palace in London, England, organized by Harrison Weir. As specimens closer to the later established Persian conformation became the more popular types, attempts were made to differentiate it from the Angora. The first breed standard was issued in 1889 by cat show promoter Weir. He stated that the Persian differed from the Angora in the tail being longer, hair more full and coarse at the end, and head larger, with less pointed ears. Not all cat fanciers agreed with the distinction of the two types, and in the 1903 work The Book of the Cat, Francis Simpson states that the distinctions, apparently with hardly any difference, between Angoras and Persians, are of so fine a nature that I must be pardoned if I ignore the class of cat commonly called Angora. Bell goes on to detail the differences. Persian coats consist of a woolly undercoat and a long, hairy outer coat. The coat loses all the thick underwool in the summer, and only the long hair remains. Hair on the shoulders and upper part of the hind legs is somewhat shorter. Conversely, the Angora has a very different coat which consists of long, soft hair, hanging in locks, inclining to a slight curl, or wave on the underparts of the body. The Angora's hair is much longer on the shoulders and hind legs than the Persian, which Bell considered a great improvement. However, Bell says the Angora fails to the Persian in the head, Angoras having a more wedge-shaped head and Persians having a rounder head. Bell notes that Angoras and Persians have been crossbred, resulting in a decided improvement to each breed, but claimed the long-haired cat of 1909 had significantly more Persian influence than Angora. Champion lamented the lack of distinction among various long-haired types by English fanciers, who as 1887, decided to group them under the umbrella term long-haired cats. Characteristics A show-style Persian has an extremely long and thick coat, short legs, a wide head with the ears set far apart, large eyes, and an extremely shortened muzzle. The breed was originally established with a short muzzle, but this characteristic has become extremely exaggerated over time, particularly in North America. Persian cats can have virtually any color or markings. The Persian is generally described as a quiet cat. Typically placid in nature, it adapts quite well to apartment life. Himalayans tend to be more active due to the influence of Siamese traits. In a study comparing cat owner perceptions of their cats, Persians rated higher than non-pedigree cats on closeness and affection to owners, friendliness towards strangers, cleanliness, predictability, vocalization, and fussiness over food. Grooming In a lion cut, the cat's body is shaved, leaving fur on the head, legs, and tip of the tail intact. It may be done to remove matted fur, reduce the need for grooming, keep the cat cool in warm weather, or for aesthetic reasons. Since Persian cats have long, dense fur that they cannot effectively keep clean, they need regular grooming to prevent matting. To keep their fur in its best condition, they must be brushed frequently. An alternative is to shave the coat. Their eyes may require regular cleaning to prevent crust buildup and tear staining. Before we wrap up, let's get back to our trivia question. How much do purebred Persian cats cost? If you haven't guessed it yet, the answer is A, between $900 and $3,000. The Maine Coon Cat The Maine Coon is a large domesticated cat breed. It has a distinctive physical appearance and valuable hunting skills. It is one of the oldest natural breeds in North America, specifically native to the U.S. state of Maine, where it is the official state cat. Before we continue, how about a quick trivia? What is the Maine Coon Cat's nickname? A. The Gentle Giant B. The Gentle Lynx C. The Fuzzy Giant What do you think? Leave your answer in the comments below. Hang in there, and we'll get back to the answer to this trivia question at the end of the video. So, let's take a further look into the main coon. 
No records of Maine Coon's exact origins and date of introduction to the United States exist, so several competing hypotheses have been suggested. The most credible suggestion is that it is closely related to the Norwegian forest cat and the Siberian. The breed was popular in cat shows in the late 19th century, but its existence became threatened when long-haired breeds from overseas were introduced in the early 20th century. The Maine Coon has since made a comeback and is now one of the most popular cat breeds in the United States. The Maine Coon is a large and sociable cat, hence its nickname, the Gentle Giant. It is characterized by a prominent ruff along its chest, robust bone structure, rectangular body shape, an uneven two-layered coat with longer guard hairs over a silky satin undercoat, and a long, bushy tail. The breed's colors vary widely, with only lilac and chocolate disallowed for pedigree, Reputed for its intelligence and playful, gentle personality, the Maine Coon is often cited as having dog-like characteristics. Professionals notice certain health problems recurring in the breed, including feline hypertrophy cardiomyopathy and hip dysplasia, but reputable breeders use modern screening methods to minimize the frequency of these problems. A Maine Coon polydactyl is a Maine Coon polydactyl cat. This variation is acceptable within general judging standards for the breed, and is even separately certified by some organizations like Tika. History The Maine Coon is the largest domesticated cat breed. It has a distinctive physical appearance and valuable hunting skills. The breed was popular in cat shows in the late 19th century, but its existence became threatened when long-haired breeds from overseas were introduced in the early 20th century. Origin The ancestral origins of the Maine Coon are unknown, there are only speculation and folk tales. One story involves Marie Antoinette, the Queen of France, who was executed in 1793. The story goes that before her death, Antoinette attempted to escape France with the help of Captain Samuel Clough. She loaded Clough's ship with her most prized possessions, including six of her favorite Turkish Angora cats. Although she did not make it to the United States, all of her pets managed to reach the shore of Wiscasset, Maine safely, where they bred with other short-haired breeds and developed into the modern breed of the Maine Coon. Habits Maine Coons have several physical adaptations for survival in harsh winter climates. Their dense, water-resistant fur is longer and shaggier on their underside and rear for extra protection when they are walking or sitting on top of wet surfaces of snow or ice. Their long and bushy raccoon-like tail is resistant to sinking in snow and can be curled around their face and shoulders for warmth and protection from wind and blowing snow. It can even be curled around their backside like an insulated seat cushion when sitting down on a frozen surface. Large paws, and especially the extra-large paws of polydactyl Maine Coons, facilitate walking on snow and are often compared to snowshoes. Long tufts of fur growing between their toes help keep the toes warm and further aid walking on snow by giving the paws additional structure without significant extra weight. Heavily furred ears with extra long tufts of fur growing from inside can keep warm more easily. Personality Maine Coons are known as the gentle giants and possess above average intelligence, making them relatively easy to train. They are known for being loyal to their family and cautious, but not mean, around strangers, but are independent and not clingy. The Maine Coon is generally not known for being a lap cat, but their gentle disposition makes the breed relaxed around dogs, other cats, and children. They are playful throughout their lives, with males tending to be more clownish and females generally possessing more dignity, yet both are equally affectionate. Many Maine Coons have a fascination with water, and some speculate that this personality trait comes from their ancestors, who were aboard ships for much of their lives. Maine Coons are also well known for being very vocal cats. They are known for their frequent yowling or howling, trilling, chirping, and making other loud vocalizations. Before we wrap up, let's get back to our trivia question. What is the Maine Coon cat's nickname? If you haven't guessed it yet, the answer is A, the gentle giant due to its laid-back personality. The Ragdoll Cat The Ragdoll is a cat breed with a color point coat and blue eyes. They are large and muscular semi-long hair cats with soft and silky coats. 
Developed by American breeder and baker in the 1960s, they are best known for their docile and placid temperament and affectionate nature. The name Ragdoll is derived from the tendency of individuals from the original breeding stock to go limp and relaxed when picked up. Before we continue, how about a quick trivia? Ragdoll cats are known to resemble which other pet animal? A. Birds B. Rabbits C. Dogs What do you think? Leave your answer in the comments below. Hang in there, and we'll get to the answer to this trivia question at the end of the video. So, let's take a further look into the ragdoll. Particularly popular in both the United Kingdom and the breeds native the United States, ragdoll cats are often known as dog-like cats or puppy-like cats due to such behaviors as their tendency to follow people around, their ease when physically handled, and their relative lack of aggression toward other pets. Ragdoll is the larger and heavier cat. Its head is V-shaped, its eyes are large and round, its coat is thick, its limbs are thick, its tail is long, its body is soft, and it is mostly a tricolor or bicolor cat. It has a bold personality, does not know what fear is, and has a strong tolerance for pain. It is often mistaken for lack of pain to tolerate children's play, and is an ideal family pet. In the 1960s, a regular, non-pedigreed, White domestic long-haired cat named Josephine produced several litters of typical cats. It originated in Riverside, California, with a woman named Ann Baker. Josephine was of a Persian-slash-Angora type and had litters sired by several unknown male Burman or Burmese-like cats, one of which had the Siamese point coloration. Josephine later produced kittens with a docile, placid temperament, affectionate nature, and a tendency to go limp and relaxed when picked up. In 1975, a group led by a husband and wife team, Denny and Laura Dayton, broke ranks with the IRCA with the aim of gaining mainstream recognition for the ragdoll. Beginning with a breeding pair of IRCA cats, this group eventually developed the ragdoll standard currently accepted by major cat registries, such as the CFA and the Fife. During or after the spread of the ragdoll breed in America, during the early 1960s, a breeding pair of ragdolls was exported to the UK. This pair was followed by eight more cats to fully establish the breed in the UK, where it is recognized by the governing council of the cat fancy. In 1994, a second group decided to leave the IRCA and form its own group, owing to increasingly strict breeding restrictions. This group later established the ragamuffin breed. Because Baker owned the rights to the name ragdoll, no offshoot groups were legally able to call their cats ragdolls until 2005, when the trademark on ragdoll was not renewed. Breed Description The ragdoll has been known to have a very floppy and calm nature, with claims that these characteristics have been passed down from the Persian and Burman breeds. Opinions vary as to whether this trait might be the result of genetic mutation. The extreme docility of some individuals has led to the myth that ragdolls are pain-resistant. Some breeders in Britain have tried to breed away from the limpness owing to concerns that extreme docility might not be in the best interests of the cat. Physical Characteristics The ragdoll is one of the largest domesticated cat breeds, with a sturdy body, large frame, and proportionate legs. A fully grown female weighs from 8 to 15 pounds, 3.6 to 6.8 kilograms. Males are substantially larger, ranging from 12 to 20 pounds, 5.4 to 9.1 kilograms, or more. The genes for point coloration are responsible for the distinctive blue eyes of the ragdoll. More intense shades of blue are favored in cat shows. Although the breed has a plush coat, it consists mainly of long guard hairs, while the lack of dense undercoat results, according to the Cat Fanciers Association, in reduced shedding and matting. Ragdolls come in six different colors, red, seal, chocolate, and the corresponding dilutes, including blue, lilac, and cream. This also includes the lynx and tortoise shell variations in all colors and the three patterns. Ragdoll kittens are born white, they have good color at 8 to 10 weeks and full color and coat at 3 to 4 years. The three different patterns are Mitch same as pointed, but with white paws and abdomen. With or without a blaze, a white line or spot on the face, but must have a belly stripe, the white stripe that runs from the chin to the genitals, and a white chin. 
mitt ragdolls, which weren't allowed titling in CFA until the 2008-2009 show season, are often confused with Bermans. The easiest way to tell the difference is by size, the ragdoll being obviously larger, and chin color, mitt ragdolls have white chins, while Bermans have colored chins, although breeders recognize the two by head shape and boning. Bicolor, white legs, white inverted V on the face, white abdomen, and sometimes white patches on the back. Excessive amounts of white, or high white, on a bicolor are known as the van pattern, although this does not occur nearly as often as the other patterns. Blue point this cat is so named after its dark bluish gray, that is, its points are bluish gray. Blue point ragdoll's body is a light platinum tone. It must be stated that the area of its chest and stomach has a bluish gray color. Health. One study utilizing Swedish insurance data showed that the ragdoll and Siamese have the lowest survival rate of the common cat breeds. They live 12 to 15 years. This study indicates the ragdoll may have a significantly higher number of cats that die of urinary problems, mainly from kidney slash ureter issues, but also partly from lower urinary issues. Whether this is an issue outside Finland, Sweden, or Denmark is unclear. The coat of the ragdoll cat is thick and extremely soft. The length of the hair can range from medium to long. Fortunately, its coat does not mat easily, but it can occur. Caring for ragdoll cats should include brushing the coat at least twice a week to help prevent mats, tangles, and excessive shedding. Ragdolls enjoy grooming and will often show their enjoyment with all the special attention. Suitable crowd. The ragdoll cat is very large, but this cat has a quieter personality and is very suitable for apartment life. However, although this cat is quiet, it likes company. If you don't have a lot of time to accompany it, then you best keep two and give it a companion friend. Before we wrap up, let's get back to our trivia question. Ragdoll cats are known to resemble which other pet animal? If you haven't guessed it yet, the answer is C. Dogs. Ragdoll cats are often referred to as cat dogs due to their playful nature and trainability. The Bengal Cat The Bengal Cat is a domesticated cat breed created from hybrids of domestic cats, especially the spotted Egyptian Mao with the Asian Leopard Cat. The breed name comes from the Leopard Cat's taxonomic name. Before we continue, how about a quick trivia? What do Bengal cats enjoy doing that is not typical of most cat breeds? A. Playing in water B. Snuddling on the couch C. Hunting small rodents Hang in there, and we'll get back to the answer of this trivia question at the end of the video. Bengals have a wild appearance, their golden shimmer comes from their leopard cat ancestry, and their coats may show spots, rosettes, arrowhead markings, or marbling. They are an energetic breed which needs much exercise and play. History The earliest mention of an Asian leopard cat times domestic cross was in 1889, when Harrison were wrote of them in Our Cats and All About Them. Early breeding efforts always stopped after just one or two generations. Jean Mill was the breeder who decided to make a domestic cat with a coat like a wild cat. Popularity The Bengal breed was more fully developed by the 1980s. In 1992 the International Cat Association had 125 registered Bengal breeders. By the 2000s, Bengals had become a very popular breed. In 2019, there are more than 1,000 Bengal breeders worldwide. Colors Bengals come in a variety of coat colors. The International Cat Association recognizes several Bengal colors. Brown spotted, seal lynx point, snow, sepia, silver, and mink spotted tabby Bengals. Spotted rosette. The Bengal cat is the only domestic breed of cat that has rosette markings. People most often associate the Bengal with the most popular color, the brown spotted slash rosette Bengal. However, Bengals have a wide variety of markings and colors. Even within the brown spotted slash rosette category a Bengal can be red, brown, black, ticked, gray, spotted, rosette, clouded. Many people are stunned by the Bengal cat's resemblance to a leopard. Among domestic cats, the Bengal markings are perhaps the most varied and unique. Marble 
Domestic cats have four distinct and heritable coat patterns, ticked, mackerel, blotched, and spotted, these are collectively referred to as tabby markings. Christopher Kalin, a Stanford University geneticist, has conducted research, which has been used to identify the spotted gene and the marble gene in domestic Bengal cats. Kalin studied the color and pattern variations of feral cats in Northern California and was able to identify the gene responsible for the marble pattern in Bengal cats. Bengal size. The Bengal is an average to large-sized, spotted cat breed. Bengals are long and lean. Bengals are larger than the average house cat because of their muscular bodies. Temperament. Bengal cats are smart, energetic and playful. Many Bengal owners say that their Bengal naturally retrieves items, and they often enjoy playing in water. The International Cat Association describes the Bengal cat as an active, inquisitive cat that loves to be up high. Most Bengals enjoy playing, chasing, climbing and investigating. In general, Bengals enjoy action. Bengals are generally confident and curious. Shedding and grooming. Bengals are often claimed by breeders and pet adoption agencies to be a hypoallergenic breed, one less likely to cause an allergic reaction. The Bengal cat is said to produce lower than average levels of allergens, better source needed though this has not been scientifically proven as of 2020. Cat geneticist Leslie Lyons, who runs the University of Missouri's Feline and Comparative Genetics Laboratory, discounts such claims, observing that there is no such thing as a hypoallergenic cat. Alleged hypoallergenic breeds thus may still produce a reaction among those who have severe allergies. Bengal long hair. Some long-haired Bengals have always occurred in Bengal breeding. Many different domestic cats were used to create the Bengal breed, and it is theorized that the gene for long hair came from one from these backcrossings. UC Davis has developed a genetic test for long hair so that Bengal breeders could select Bengal cats with a recessive long hair gene for their breeding programs. Long-haired Bengals are starting to gain more recognition in some cat breed registries, but are not widely accepted. Since 2013, they have preliminary breed status in the New Zealand Cat Fancy Registry, under the breed name Kashmir Bengal since 2017 the International Cat Association has accepted the Bengal long hair. In competitions. Before we wrap up, let's get back to our trivia question. What do Bengal cats enjoy doing that is not typical of most cat breeds? If you haven't guessed it yet, the answer is A. Bengals enjoy water and will play for long periods in a bathtub with a few inches of water in it or in a bathroom sink with the faucet slightly running. Some will even join you in the shower or bathtub. The Abyssinian Cat The Abyssinian is a breed of domestic short-haired cat with a distinctive tick tabby coat in which individual hairs are banded with different colors. In nomenclature terms, they are also known as simply abyss. The breed is named for Abyssinia, now called Ethiopia, where it is believed to have originated. Before we continue, how about a quick trivia? The Abyssinian cat is known to be ticked. What does that mean? A. They are always upset. B. They have a distinct fur pattern. For the answer. In terms of the domestication of cats, Analysis has found the Abyssinian to be one of the oldest types of the animal in existence, with mummified cats in Egyptian tombs studied by archaeologists appearing similar to the modern breed standards. Although regarded as comparatively obscure in the past as a breed compared to others, the Abyssinian currently ranks among the top five most popular breeds worldwide. The breed's distinctive appearance, seeming long, lean, and finely colored compared to other cats, has been analogized to that of human fashion models. Personality-wise, the cats traditionally display active, curious attitudes in which they frequently follow owners around and encourage play, being regarded as the clowns of the cat kingdom. Their dog-like characteristics also involve a particular sense of affection and desire for interaction. History The Abyssinian cat as it is known today was bred in Great Britain, it is alleged that British soldiers deployed to North Africa in the 19th century returned home with kittens purchased from local traders. Appearance The Abyssinian is a slender, fine-boned, medium-sized cat. The head is moderately wedge-shaped, 
with a slight break at the muzzle, and nose and chin ideally forming a straight vertical line when viewed in profile. They have alert, relatively large pointed ears. The eyes are almond-shaped and are gold, green, hazel or copper depending on coat color. The legs tend to be long in proportion to a graceful body, with small oval paws, the tail is likewise long and tapering. Coat and Colors Abyssinian kittens are born with dark coats that gradually lighten as they mature, usually over several months. The adult coat should not be excessively short and is ideally fine, dense and close-lying, silky to the touch. The ticked or agouti effect that is the trademark of the breed, genetically a variant of the tabby pattern, should be uniform over the body, although the ridge of the spine and tail, back of the hind legs, and the pads of the paws are always noticeably darker. Each hair has a light base with three or four bands of additional color growing darker towards the tip. The base color should be as clear as possible, any extensive intermingling with gray is considered a serious fault. A tendency to white on the chin is common, but likewise must be minimal. The typical tabby M-shaped marking is often found on the forehead. The breed's original color standard is a warm deep reddish-brown base with black ticking, known as usual in the United Kingdom tawny in Australia, and as ruddy elsewhere. Sorrel, also called cinnamon or red, a lighter coppery base with chocolate-brown ticking, is a unique mutation of this original pattern. Other variants have been introduced by outcrossing to the Burmese and other short-haired breeds, notably blue, on a warm beige base, and fawn, on a softer creamy peach base. The less common chocolate and lilac are not recognized in the Cat Fanciers Association CFA, breed standard six, but have been granted full champion status in the International Cat Association TICA, and in the UK. The UK also recognizes the Silver Abyssinian, in which the base coat is a pure silvery white with black, called usual silver, blue, cream or sorrel ticking. Various other color combinations are in development, including the Torby, in which a patched tortoise shell pattern in any of these colors is visible under the tabby banding. The breed owes their distinctive coat to a dominant mutant gene known as Ta. The first cat to have its entire genome published was an Abyssinian named Cinnamon. Temperament Abyssinians are a popular breed thanks in large part to their unusual intelligence and generally extroverted, playful, willful personalities. They are said to become depressed without constant activity, and the attention of their owners. 9. Veterinarian Joan O. Joshua has written that the dog-like attachment to the owners of Abyssinian and Burmese cats causes greater dependence on human contacts. This stands in contrast to the mere tolerant acceptance of human company based around comforts that multiple other breeds display. With their interest in playing with their owners combined with their curious intelligence, Abyssinians are known as the clowns of the cat kingdom. 3. They have an active, outgoing nature, yet tend to be quiet cats. They have soft chirp-like vocalizations, which do not sound like the expected meow. They are affectionate and friendly toward people. Before we continue, let's see, they have a constant twitch of the nose. Hang in there until the end of the video. Get back to our trivia question. The question was, the Abyssinian cat is known to be ticked. What does that mean? If you haven't guessed it yet, the answer is B. No, that doesn't mean the Abyssinian is permanently upset. Rather, a ticked cat has a distinctive coat caused by a gene known as the Aguda gene. This simply means they have no stripes, but rather bands of color. Health The breed can be prone to gingivitis, which can lead to more serious periodontitis. Familial renal amyloidosis or AA amyloidosis, a kidney disorder due to a mutation in the AA amyloid protein gene, has been seen in Abyssinians. The Abyssinian has had severe problems with blindness caused by a hereditary retinal degeneration due to mutations in the RDAC gene. However, the prevalence has been reduced from 45% to less than 4% in 2008 in the country of Sweden. With the widespread availability of RDAC mutation detection tests and services, such as those provided by the UC Davis Veterinary Genetics Laboratory, it is possible to reduce the disease frequency in all populations of Abyssinian. The Oriental Shorthair Cat The Oriental Shorthair is a breed of domestic cat that is developed from and closely related to the Siamese cat. 
It maintains the modern Siamese head and body type, but appears in a wide range of coat colors and patterns. Like the Siamese, Orientals have almond-shaped eyes, a triangular head shape, large ears, and an elongated, slender, and muscular body. Their personalities are also very similar. Orientals are social, intelligent, and many are rather vocal. They often remain playful into adulthood, with many enjoying playing fetch. Despite their slender appearance, they are athletic and can leap into high places. They prefer to live in pairs or groups and also seek human interaction. Unlike the breed's blue-eyed forebear, Orientals are usually green-eyed. The Oriental long hair differs only with respect to coat length. Before we continue, how about a quick trivia? In what US city was this cat breed developed? A. Miami B. Houston C. New York What do you think? Leave your answer in the comments below. Hang in there, and we'll get to the answer to this trivia question at the end of the video. So, let's take a further look into the Oriental short hair. Description Breed The Oriental short hair is a member of the Siamese family of breeds, and can be found in various solid colors and patterns such as smoke, shaded, party color slash tortoise shell, tabby, and bicolor. All variants are acceptable to all organizations that recognize the breed. Characteristics Conforming Oriental short hairs, like any of the Siamese type, have almond-shaped eyes and a wedge-shaped head with large ears. Their bodies are typically sleek but muscular. The long-haired version of the breed, the Oriental long hair, simply carries a pair of the recessive long hair genes. Personality Oriental short hair cats have high locomotion levels and are natural conversationalists. The adult Oriental short hair cats are considered active, curious, and interested in surroundings by breeders and veterinarians. Size The Oriental short hair is a medium sized cat. On average, males weigh from 8 to 12 pounds, with females weighing less than 8 pounds. Health Due to the close relationship with the Siamese, it could have similar health problems as the Siamese. Amyloidosis Asthma slash bronchial disease Congenital heart defects Crossed eyes Gastrointestinal conditions Hyperesthesia syndrome Lymphoma Nystagmus Progressive retinal atrophy The Siamese breed group also has a significant health risk in retinal degeneration. Oriental cats show low seroprevalence of feline coronavirus antibodies. Oriental shorthair cats have a lower incidence of overweight when neutered. History and recognition According to the CFA, Orientals represent a diverse group of cats that have their foundation in the Siamese breed. In both pointed and solid colors, the Siamese was imported to the UK from Siam in the latter half of the 1800s and from there, spread widely, becoming one of the most popular breeds. The gene that causes the color to be restricted to the points is a recessive gene, therefore, the general population of the cats of Siam was largely self-colored. When the cats from Siam were bred, the pointed cats were eventually registered as Siamese, while the others were referred to as non-blue-eyed Siamese or foreign shorthair. Other breeds that were developed from the Landris cats of Thailand include the Havana Brown and the Korat. The Oriental Shorthair was accepted as an actual breed for championship competition in the U.S. headquartered CFA in 1977. In 1985, the CFA recognized the bicolor variant. Two decades later, the breed was finally recognized by the UK-based Governing Council of the Cat Fancy GCCF, in 1997, but with some differences from CFA on coat confirmation. GCCF publishes separate breed registration policies for a number of specific coat oriental shorthair variants today. The Germany-based World Cat Federation recognizes the breed, but with color requirements that are comparatively unrestrictive in some way but notably opposed to white. In the Cat Fanciers Association, some of the point-colored offspring from oriental shorthair parents are considered any other variety, but some may compete as color points depending on the pedigree. In the International Cat Association and many other cats fancier and breeder associations, these cats are considered to be and compete as Siamese when recognized at all. In popular culture, 
In Scientific Illustrator, Jenny Park's 2017 book Star Trek Cats, Star Trek's Spock is depicted as an oriental shorthair. In Joanne Sfar's Le Chat du Rabin, The Rabbi's Cat, the eponymous cat has the physical features of an oriental shorthair. There is one oriental shorthair who has gone viral for his famous meow that sounds like a honk. His name is Teddy, he's also gained fame because people claim he resembles the famous actor Adam Driver. Before we wrap up, let's get back to our trivia question. In what US city was this cat breed developed? If you haven't guessed it yet, the answer is C, New York. While the breed is often considered to have its origins in Thailand, Oriental Shorthair Cats were first bred and recognized as a distinct breed in New York City. The SPHYNX Cat The SPHYNX Cat, or simply SPHYNX, is a breed of cat known for its lack of fur. Hairlessness in cats is a naturally occurring genetic mutation, and the SPHYNX was developed through selective breeding of these animals, starting in the 1960s. Your videos. Before we continue, how about a quick trivia? Other than being hairless, what is one distinct physical feature of SPHYNX cats? A. They have a higher body temperature than other cats. B. They have large ears. C. They are polydactyl. What do you think? Leave your answer in the comments below. Hang in there, and we'll get to the answer to this trivia question at the end of the video. So, let's take a further look into the SPHYNX cat. According to breed standards, the skin should have the texture of chamois leather, as it has fine hairs, or the cat may be completely hairless. Whiskers may be present, either whole or broken, or may be totally absent. The cats have narrow, long heads and webbed feet. Their skin is their fur color, and all the usual cat markings may be found on the SPHYNX cat's skin. Because they have no fur, they lose more body heat than coated cats, making them warm to the touch and prone to finding warm places. Behavior SPHYNX are known for their extroverted behavior. They display a high level of energy, intelligence, curiosity, and affection for their owners. They are one of the more dog-like breeds of cats, frequently greeting their owners at the door and friendly when meeting strangers. History of the Cat Breed The contemporary breed of SPHYNX cat, also known as the Canadian SPHYNX, is distinct from the Russian hairless cat breeds, like Peter Bald and Donskoy. Although hairless cats have been reported throughout history, breeders in Europe have been developing the SPHYNX breed since the early 1960s. Two different sets of hairless felines discovered in North America in the 1970s provided the foundation for cats for what was shaped into the existing SPHYNX breed. The current American and European SPHYNX breed is descended from two lines of natural mutations. Dermis and Epidermis barn cats from the Pearson family of Wadena, Minnesota. Bambi, Punky, and Paloma stray cats found in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, and raised by Shirley Smith. Toronto. The Canadian SPHYNX breed was started in 1966 in Toronto, Ontario, when a hairless kitten named Prune was born to a black and white domestic shorthair queen. The kitten was mated with its mother, something called backcrossing, which produced one more naked kitten. Together with a few naked kittens found later, the cat Prune was the first attempt to create a hairless breed. After purchasing these cats in 1966 and initially referring to them as Moonstones and Canadian Hairless, Ridiad Bawa, a science graduate of the University of Toronto, combined efforts with his mother Yania, a longtime Siamese breeder, and Keys and Rita Tenhoves to develop a breed of cats, which was subsequently renamed as SPHYNX. The Bawas and the Tenhoves were the first individuals able to determine the autosomal recessive nature of the SPHYNX gene for hairlessness while also being successful in transforming this knowledge into a successful breeding program with kittens which were eventually capable of reproducing. The Tenhoves were initially able to obtain for the new breed provisional showing status through the Cat Fanciers Association, but ultimately had the status revoked in 1971 when it was felt by the CFA board that the breed had concerns over fertility. The first breeders had rather vague ideas about SPHYNX genetics 
and faced a number of problems. The genetic pool was very limited, and many kittens died. There was also a problem with many of the females suffering convulsions. In 1978, cat breeder Shirley Smith found three hairless kittens on the streets of her neighborhood. In 1983, she sent two of them to Dr. Hugo Hernandez in the Netherlands to breed the two kittens, named Punky and Paloma, to a white Devon Rex named Karari van Jetterfen. The resulting litter produced five kittens, two males from this litter were used, along with Punky's half-sister, Paloma. Minnesota The first noted naturally occurring foundation SPHYNX originated as hairless stray barn cats in Wadena, Minnesota, at the farm of Milt and Ethelyn Pearson. The Pearsons identified hairless kittens occurring in several litters of their domestic shorthair barn cats in the mid-1970s. Two hairless female kittens born in 1975 and 1976, Epidermis and Dermis, were sold to Oregon breeder Kim Muskie and became an important part of the SPHYNX breeding program. Also working with the Pearson line of cats was breeder Georgiana Gattenby of Brainerd, Minnesota, who outcrossed with Cornish Rex cats. Care. Although SPHYNX cats lack a coat to shed or groom, they are not maintenance-free. Body oils, which would normally be absorbed by the hair, tend to build upon the skin. As a result, regular bathing is usually necessary weekly or bi-weekly. Care should be taken to limit the SPHYNX cat's exposure to outdoor sunlight at length, as they can develop sunburn and skin damage similar to that of humans. In general, SPHYNX cats should never be allowed outdoors unattended, as they have limited means to conserve body heat when it is cold. In some climates, owners provide coats or other clothing in the winter to help them conserve body heat. SPHYNX cats can also have more earwax than most hairy domestic cats because they have little to no hair in their ears. Dirt, skin oils and earwax accumulates in the ears and needs to be cleaned out on a weekly basis, usually before bath time. The SPHYNX breed also tends to accumulate oils and debris under the nails, and the skin fold above the nail due to the lack of fur, so, like the ears, the nails and surrounding skin folds need to be cleaned properly well. Due to these factors, the breed may require more grooming than a typical domestic cat with fur. Specialty products for this cat have been developed, though they still require more grooming than most breeds. Before we wrap up, let's get back to our trivia question. Other than being hairless, what is one distinct physical feature of SPHYNX cats? If you haven't guessed it yet, the answer is, A. SPHYNX cats have a body temperature 4 degrees warmer than that of other cats. The Devon Rex Cat The Devon Rex is a breed of intelligent, tall-eared, short-haired cat that emerged in England during the late 1950s. They are known for their slender bodies, wavy coat, and large ears. This breed of cat is capable of learning difficult tricks, but can be hard to motivate. Before we continue, how about a quick trivia? What is the common nickname for the Devon Rex cat? A. Alien cat B. Fluffy cat C. Monkey cat What do you think? Leave your answer in the comments below. Hang in there, and we'll get back to the answer to this trivia question at the end of the video. So, let's take a further look into the, the Devon Rex cat. Breed history. The Devon Rex is a breed of cat with a curly, very soft short coat similar to that of the Cornish Rex. They are often thought of as one of the most hypoallergenic cats available because of their coat type. However, they are technically not hypoallergenic. Beryl Cox discovered the first Devon in Buckfast Lake, Devon, UK, in 1959. The breed was initially thought to be linked with the Cornish Rex, however, test mating proved otherwise. Appearance Hair Cats have three types of hair, guard hair, on hair, and down hair. The Devon Rex's coat is unusual because there is little guard hair. See Cornish Rex and SPHYNX for more information on hair deficient genetics in cats. The curl in Devon Rex fur is caused by a different mutation and gene than that of the Cornish Rex and German Rex, and breeding of a Devon with either of those cats results in cats without relaxed, curled fur. 
Devons, which are medium-sized cats, are often called pixie cats because of their unique appearance. Other characteristics. They're uncommonly large, slightly rounded ears are set low on the sides of their wide heads, their eyes are large, and their noses are slightly upturned. Unlike most cats, their whiskers are very short and often curled to such an extent that it may appear as if they have no whiskers. Their body type is distinctly lightly built. Their long, sturdy legs are well suited for long leaps, and their toes are enormous. Personality The typical Devon is active, mischievous, playful, and very people-orientated. They have been described as a cross between a cat, a dog, and a monkey. Famously, they are sometimes called a monkey in a cat suit, or the alien cat. They are high jumpers and will try to occupy any space large enough to admit them. They are often found in odd nooks and crannies of a closet, shelf, or laundry basket with this trait. Devons prefer to be in high places and go to great lengths to get to the highest spot in a room. They are relatively easy to take care of. Most Devons also have one central person to whom they devote their love and on whom they will most often lie and rub. They like to nip playfully and love to play throughout their lives. They are an intelligent breed. The typical Devon Rex can be trained to walk on a leash, fetch or perform all manner of tricks usually associated with canines, like jump, heel, and tag, to name a few. Another common trait is their show of affection. They have a particular penchant for being close to the head or neck of their human companions. They can often be found mounted upon one's shoulder or nestled into the cranny created by the neck and shoulder when one is prone. The Devon Rex is a faithful companion and will usually follow the object of their affection from room to room, waiting for the opportunity to leap onto their arms, lap, or shoulder. Before we wrap up, let's get back to our trivia question. What is the common nickname for the Devon Rex cat? If you haven't guessed it yet, the answer is A. The Himalayan cat. The Himalayan is a breed or subbreed of long-haired cat similar in type to the Persian, except its blue eyes and point coloration, derived from crossing the Persian with the Siamese. Some registries may classify the Himalayan as a long-haired subbreed of Siamese or a color point subbreed of Persian. The World Cat Federation has merged them with the color point short hair and Javanese into a single breed, the color point. Before we continue, how about a quick trivia? What is the Guinness World Record held by a Himalayan cat? A. The largest cat B. The cat with the longest hair C. The cat with the longest claws What do you think? Leave your answer in the comments below. Hang in there, and we'll get to the answer to this trivia question at the end of the video. So, let's take a further look into the, the Himalayan cat body. Like Persians, the Himalayan tend to have a round body with short legs, which makes it harder for them to jump as high as other cats do. Since the 1960s, however, some have more of a Siamese-like body and thus do not have this limitation, but may not be accepted as show cats, depending on the specific breed standards of the organization in question. Head. As with other Persians, there are two types of Himalayans, the traditional or doll face, and the peak-faced or ultra-typed, which has the more powerful squashed-looking facial features. The seal point Himalayan in the photo to the left is doll-faced, while the red point in the title image is peak-faced. Show Himalayans display a nose break as do peak-faced Persians, and have huge, round eyes with the nose leather directly between the eyes. Breeder or pet Himalayans generally have longer noses than the show cats, and may display a longer muzzle and smaller eyes than the show cats do. All three types of cats are Himalayans, however. Health Due to their Persian ancestry, some Himalayans may have the gene that causes polycystic kidney disease. However, a genetic test can reveal which cats carry the PKD gene to be spayed or neutered. Like many long-haired cats, Himalayans need to be brushed daily to keep their coats looking their best and healthiest. In addition, they may need their face wiped daily, depending on the cat. Bathing a Himalayan is also recommended by some breeders to help reduce the amount of oil on the cat's fur and skin. Temperament Himalayan cats are good indoor companions. They are sweet-tempered, intelligent, and generally very social, 
but they can be very moody at times. Because of their heritage from the Siamese cats, they tend to be more active than Persians. They possess a playful side as well. Like the Siamese, most Himalayans love to play fetch, and a scrap of crumpled paper or a kitty toy will entertain them for hours. Himalayan cats are devoted and dependent upon their humans for companionship and protection. They crave affection and love to be petted and groomed. Before we wrap up, let's get back to our trivia question. What is the Guinness World Record held by a Himalayan cat? If you haven't guessed it yet, the answer is B, the cat with the longest hair. In 2012, a Himalayan cat named Colonel Meow set a Guinness World Record for being the cat with the longest hair. The Burman Cat The Burman, also called the Sacred Cat of Burma, is a domestic cat breed. The Burman is a long-haired, color-pointed cat distinguished by a silky coat, deep blue eyes, and contrasting white gloves on each paw. Before we continue, how about a quick trivia? Many Burman cat breeders follow what specific naming convention? A. Naming in a manner that matches the kitten's color when they're born. B. Naming with the first letter being that associated with a specific year. C. Naming the kitten using the same first letter of the mother's name. Hang in there, and we'll get back to the answer of this trivia question at the end of the video. The breed name is derived from Burmany, the French form of Burma. The Burman breed was first recognized in France by the Cat Club de France in 1925, then in England by the Governing Council of the Cat Fancy in 1966, and in United States by the Cat Fanciers Association in 1967. It is also recognized by the Canadian Cat Association and the International Cat Association in 1979. History no clear record of the breed's origin exists. They are most often claimed to have originated as the companions of temple priests in northern Burma in the Mount of Luff. Any stories exist of how the cats first came to France, including pairs of cats being given as a reward for helping defend a temple or being smuggled out of Burma by a Vanderbilt. Another pair of Burmans were said to have been stolen and later imported to France by Thada Haddish. The first traces of historical Burmans go back to a Madame Leotardi in Nice, France. Many believe, as legend will tell, that the breed originated in Burma, among the temples of ancient times and alongside priests, however, there are also some that later believe the felines came to Europe, namely France, from somewhere in Asia, which has been spread from other legends and stories passed around as well. Regardless of the numerous stories and folklore that go around, there is a positivity that the Burman cat breed was found in France as early as the 1920s, and many different stories continue to surface about the mystique that lies behind their history. Burmans were almost wiped out as a breed during World War II. Only two cats were alive in Europe at the end of the war, a pair named Orloff and Xenia de Caba, both belonging to Baudouin Crevoisier. The foundation of the breed in post-war France were offspring of this pair, they had to be heavily outcrossed with long hair breeds such as Persian and Siamese to rebuild the Burman breed. By the early 1950s, pure Burman litters were again being produced. The restored breed was recognized in Britain in 1965 and by the CFA in 1966. The first Burman cats were seal point. The blue point color was introduced in 1959 using blue Persian lines. New colors were later added by English breeders including chocolate, red, and tabby slash lynx points. Burmans have also been used in the development of new breeds such as the ragdoll. Appearance Burmans have a medium-sized, rectangular body with a broad face and distinct Roman nose. Their ears are ideally as wide on the base as they are tall and should be set as much on top of the head as on the side. The eyes are rounded and should be a deep sapphire blue. The Burman's fur is medium long and should have a silky texture. Unlike a Persian or Himalayan, they have no undercoat, thus are much less prone to matting. Coat color is always pointed, save for the contrasting pure white, symmetrical gloves on each paw that are the trademark of the breed. The white must involve all toes and in front must stop at the articulation or at the transition of toes to metacarpals. These gloves should extend noticeably further up the back of the leg referred to as the laces, finishing with an inverted V extended half to three-fourths up the hawk. 
any other spot of white on the points is considered a serious fault. The base body color is white to cream, with a wash of color that corresponds to the points, but is much paler. Recognized point colors are seal, chocolate, blue, lilac, a softer silver gray, red, or cream. Tabby and tortai variations in seal, chocolate, blue or lilac are also allowed, other colors are in development. Like all color point breeds, Burman kittens are born white and begin developing their points after one week if a dark color and 14 days or more if the points are clear or lighter colored. Their coats do not reach full development up until the cats are two years old. Health The most severe threat is feline hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, the most common heart disease seen in cats. In Burman cats, it is thought to be inherited as an autosomal dominant trait. HCM is a progressive disease and can result in heart failure, paralysis of the hind legs due to clot embolization originating in the heart, and sudden death. Paltronieri, Giraldi, Prolo, Scarpa, et al. found that Burman cats have a high serum concentration of creatinine and symmetric dimethylarginine, but most Burman cats have higher concentrations of creatinine than SDMA. Creatinine is a creatine phosphate and is produced during metabolism of creatine and is excreted through urination. SDMA is a methylated form of the amino acid arginine and is released during normal catabolisms of body proteins. Levels of creatinine and SDMA are found when Burman cats are tested for chronic kidney disease, for which they are at high risk. Burman cats are also at risk of developing feline infectious peritonitis, a disease that alters the renal function in the cats. Feline Audiogenic Reflex Seizures FARS, a recently discovered type of epilepsy in cats, is believed to be particularly common in Burman cats. Before we wrap up, let's get back to our trivia question. Many Burman cat breeders follow what specific naming convention? If you haven't guessed it yet, the answer is B. Many Burman breeders follow the French tradition of assigning all kittens born in a particular year given names that begin with the same letter of the alphabet. Countries with breeders using this convention include Australia, Canada, France, New Zealand, the UK, and the U.S. Kittens born in 2016 would start with N and in 2017 O, oh, and so on. The American Shorthair The American Shorthair is a breed of domestic cat believed to be descended from European cats brought to North America by early settlers to protect valuable cargo from mice and rats. According to the Cat Fanciers Association, in 2012, it was the seventh most popular pedigreed cat in the United States. Before we continue, how about a quick trivia? The American Shorthair has a coat that comes in how many colors and patterns? A. About 20 B. Up to 75 C. More than 210 Hang in there, and we'll get back to the answer of this trivia question at the end of the video. History When settlers sailed from Europe to North America, they carried cats on board to protect the stores from mice, for instance, the cats that came over on the Mayflower with the pilgrims to hunt rats on the ship, and in the colony many of these cats landed in the New World, interbred, and developed special characteristics to help them cope with their new life and climate. Early in the 20th century, a selective breeding program was established to develop the best qualities of these cats. The American Shorthair is a pedigree cat breed, with a strict confirmation standard, as set by cat fanciers of the breed, and the North American Cat Fancier Associations such as the International Cat Association and the Cat Fanciers Association. The breed is accepted by all North American cat registries. Originally known as the Domestic Shorthair, the breed was renamed in 1966 to the American Shorthair to better represent its all-American origins.